Now, moving on to first aid items that you would be needing. Bandages. Bandages are lifesavers for treating injuries and stopping bleeding. They'll become dirty over time, but the quick wash in clean water keeps them fresh. High first aid skill players make bandages last longer and sterilized ones stop infections before they start. Dirty bandages though, those are infection magnets. You can use ripped sheets, denim, and leather in a pinch, but normal and adhesive bandages can be found in-game as well. Just remember, adhesive ones are one-time use only. Suture Surgical suture, also called stitches, is a medical technique that holds a wound together. It works by using a sterile needle and thread to stitch the wound shot. The thread material varies and is often absorbable, aiding complete healing within the body. Disinfection Infected wounds are extra painful, so you can sterilize them using a bottle of disinfectant, bourbon, cotton balls dipped in alcohol, or alcohol wipes. Even existing infected wounds can be disinfected to help them heal faster. To disinfect bandages, use a bottle of disinfectant, bourbon, or just boil them in a pot or saucepan. Medicine These come in pill form, each with different effects. Antibiotics lower wound infection strength, antidepressants ease player unhappiness, beta blockers calm panic, painkillers numb pain, sleeping tablets increase tiredness, while vitamins decrease it. Splint Splints aid in fixing broken limbs, which seriously limit what a player can do. At level 4 first aid, fractures heal a whopping 250% faster and being well fed adds another 30% to injury healing. It cannot be found in the world and must be crafted with one of plank, tree branch, or sturdy stick and one of a rip sheet or dirty rag. Medicinal Plants there are seven different medicinal plants, each bringing a unique health benefit when consumed. Black sage takes the edge off mild pain. Common mallow helps tackle cold and flu symptoms. Ginseng restores endurance. And lemongrass provides relief from food poisoning. Some of these plants, like comfrey, plantain, and wild garlic, require crafting into a poultice using a mortar and pestle. Comfrey aids in healing broken bones, Plantain assists in wound recovery and wild garlic fights off infections. Miscellaneous items. You'll find various tools like tweezers and suture needle holders that help remove foreign objects from the body, such as glass shards or bullets. Then there's tissue and toilet paper, handy for muting coughs and sneezes triggered by a cold. Leveling up first aid. To level up, you will need to heal, bandage, and stitch up wounds. Reading skill books boosts your XP gain. But if you want to level up faster, a bizarre trick involves stepping on broken glass without shoes, getting shards stuck, and removing them with tweezers or by hand. Just be ready to stitch up the wounds before you bleed out. It's not for everyone, especially those aiming for a realistic playstyle. Here are some of the benefits of having high first aid skill. This include faster healing for fractures and deep wounds, reduced impact on combat speed and pain, longer lasting bandages, quicker medical actions, and better evaluation of wound severity. Higher levels improve splint quality, making fractures less troublesome. Stitched deep wounds need time to undo, with higher levels helping you know when it's safe to remove them. Now, just a tip, if you're playing in a vanilla server, max first aid level isn't really a must-have. I would suggest leveling it up to 4 or 5 to get extra benefits, but max levels come in handy if you're playing with vaccine or other medicine mods. If this video helped you in some way, let us know in the comment section. If you also want to watch our live streams, check our Twitch. Have fun and hoping for your long survival in Project Zomboid.